Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still wet as day. August 17, 2022. Drunk poker root tis beer time. Got out of the pool here. Uh, Got to start getting dinner ready. We're doing the uh, bacon wrapped chicken breast. What? I don't even know. It looks good. So the other week it was International Beer Day, and so I drank international beer. It wasn't meant to, it was meant to be an international celebration of beer. But I bought a whole bunch. I am, I, again, what I think I can drink and what I'm actually going to drink that night are two different things, incredibly. Like last night I had like four beers, and I was like, I could probably have a couple more, and then I just fell asleep sitting up, because that's what I do. Because I, I can have like three, four beers, and I'm good for the night. But I wanted to get through these European beers, because it's fun, because these are beers I haven't had in a long time. Especially when it comes to a lot of them, because back in the day when you couldn't find a lot of Ontario craft beer at the LCBO, it was European beers that we were getting to get badges on untapped, right? So I thought, that's where we visit them. It's fun. So we're going to get into the Dortmunder Action Brewery from uh, Alemang, from Germany. Uh, the Dortmunder Dark. The uh, Dark, it's a dark beer, 4.8%, so definitely lower ABV uh, LCBO beer. Uh, so I, I went a little deeper in to find out. It's a macro brewery, obviously. In Germany, they, they, they produce the brewery that oversees this. The, the parent brewery to this one produces 60% of the beer in Germany. And the parent brewery, to the, the parent company to the, that overshell of breweries is Dr. Utker. Isn't that the pizza guy? I don't know. The whole thing's weird now. Like, doesn't the same company that own, like, Tim Hortons owns Budweiser or something like that, too? Like, the whole thing's nuts now. Drink local. But anyways, I like to drink these beers because they're fun, and I like to try things from around the world, and beers that people like from around the world. Again, when we talk about a lot of these beers, like we had a beer today from a tiny brewery that has, like, just opened up, and they've had, like, five or six different beers, right? So it's not like they're, you know, the spread across Canada beer. This is, So drinking these things is kind of fun. It gives you a look into what other people are drinking, and I do like a nice Dortmunder, a dark lager, as it were said here. We really want to go to Germany. The plan is next year I turn 50. We want to go to Germany, the Czech Republic, and Belgium. Whether that's happening or not, I have no idea. This week of vacation has not been what I had hoped it would be. My phone has not stopped going off, and that's fine. Because, like I always say, if people below me need help, you know, people that are are trying to cover me, but the people above me calling me, I'm like, why are you calling me? Like, you're, you're supposed to help take care of stuff when I'm not there, man. Right? I always forever help the people that work with me. The people who I work for, and I'm on vacation. So, yeah, there we are. So we're, I'm just like, yeah, am I going to be able to? I don't know. We'll see where we go. But let's get into this, my friends. Enough. I needed to rant it out. I do it here because that's where I get to talk about stuff. Cheers. Let's get some beers. I mean, yeah. Is there a canning date on this that I can't see? Yeah, I can't really see anything. Um, it's good, it's roasty, bitter, not medium bitterness, like a not quite super bitterness, a bit of chocolate, some coffee, um, it's not bad, there's almost that penny-like flavor again. Again, it's not terrible beer, it is a mass-produced beer, right, so they, they have their formulas down pat, they are not messing around, there's no quality changes from batch to batch, and I think that's one of the things in craft beer. Craft beer is dead. Anyways, but that's one of the things with small producers that sometimes you'll hear that, oh, this one's a little bit different. And and sometimes that's okay because they're evolving the recipe and sometimes it's because they can't nail it down. Like, I've seen some beers that have evolved over the last couple of years and I've watched them as they tweak the recipe and I'm like, I get that. And then sometimes it's just, there's breweries and there's established breweries in Ontario that make bad beer. Like, they they can't get the recipe down twice. Never mind three times. So when they see these beers and people get all like, oh, and I'm always like, yeah, but these guys know what the frig they're doing because if they didn't know what the frig they were doing, they wouldn't be all over the bloody world. Right? 90, 90% of beer drinkers don't give a damn about drinking local. Right? We care. And we try and spread that love. But at the end of the day, nobody gives a damn. If 90% of people don't care about something, we're going to keep trying. But these are fun. I don't mind it. It's a nice beer. Like, I'm going to go jump back in the pool. 4.8%. I got two of these. I'm okay with that. Like, it's not a bad beer. It's got a decent body. The bitterness is nice. The chocolate's decent. Like, it's not overwhelming. It is a just a nicely crafted little beer. So, I'm always worried. Like, I just, I know people, people just get too focused on stuff, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a drunk who has a phone that records videos. 
right? What the hell do I know? I know no super taster or nothing like that, baby. I'm just the guy who drinks the beers. So there you go. Pick it up. Have you not tried Dark Lager? I think it was cheap, too. That's one of these things. How are these European beers freaking cheap? Like, they come over here and they're cheap as hell. I'm like, what? I get to buy a check bar for two bucks. All right, well, whatever. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to go drink in the pool, listen to music, pretend everything is just what it is. Poke loves you. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Cheers. <sighs> a little dab will do you, right? <laughs> I have a couple of dabs, man. Oh, I got a Maybach, too. Maybach. Maybach.